Today I'm gonna make for you one of my southern favorites, sweet potato biscuits. It's really, really an easy recipe and great for a lot of uses. I've got flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt mixed here together. I'm gonna cut the butter in until you get about pea size little little pieces. My husband Scott dips his hands in cold water. You're supposed to keep this whole mixture cold. This butter has been in the freezer and I'm gonna pour in sweet potatoes. It's easy to make these. You can bake them, pull them out of the skin and mash them up. I put that in here and I'm gonna put three quarters cup of buttermilk. All right, I'm just gonna mix this together. I'm gonna incorporate a little bit of the buttermilk into the sweet potato before I really get it good and mixed. Okay, and then I'm just gonna barely get it, get everything coated. It's gonna look a little shaggy, but it's okay. It's better not to over mix it. All right, now I'm gonna put a little bit of flour onto a, my surface here and dump my mixture onto the surface. Just kind of smash it together and then begin to fold it on top of itself. When all of the flour is moist, then you are done. And I'm just folding it on top of itself so that the butter will get in there in all of the layers. It'll make a lot of beautiful layers in your biscuits. I got cleaned up. Got my skillet out of the oven. I had it at 400 degrees. And now I'm going to put these biscuits right into the hot skillet. I like to heat up my skillet so that the bottoms get nice and crisp. And it's okay to have these um, chunks of sweet potato in there. Don't worry a bit about that. That just makes it have more character and more flavor. Okay, into the 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of your skillet and the size of your biscuits. After the biscuits have been in the oven for about 10 minutes, brush them with a little bit of melted butter and that's gonna give them a crispy top. Bringing the sweet potato biscuits out is always a joy. I'm gonna dump them right onto the plate and then right on to the cutting board and I'm gonna let them cool for just a minute or two. Can't wait to eat them with my favorite jelly or better yet, fried venison and mustard.